Hey guys, and welcome back to the Acne Channel. My name is Lavinia Rosanda. Today, we are going to be talking about skin picking, popping your pimples, picking out acne, why it is bad, and how to stop yourself from doing it. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, just keep on watching. All right, so first of all, I wanna get right on to talking about why picking at your skin can be bad. Now, it can be very, very easy to get into this tendency and create a habit out of it. Now, some people do this more occasionally than others, but I do understand how it can be satisfying, let's say if you have a whitehead, um, to pop it and get that gunk out, or if you have sebaceous filaments or blackheads on your nose, to press at it, pick at it, whether it's with your nails, your fingers, or those little metal extraction tools, all of these can lead to the same risks when attempting to pop and extract your own pimples. And overall, if you pick at your acne throughout the day, let's say even if it's a scab already and you're picking at it, I'm gonna talk about why that can be bad too. So let's start off with that. So overall, touching, picking, squeezing at your skin and your pimples can continuously cause more damage and lead to further skin issues than there were before. Overall, by doing this, you're not letting your skin heal naturally either you are trying to get a um, pimple to extract that pus or a blackhead to go away before um, your skin naturally gets rid of it or you know if your pimple has already turned into a scar and there is a scab you are picking at it trying to get that scab to heal faster than it is and through this picking and popping um, action you are actually tearing your skin so if you've ever popped a white head and a blood comes with it um, you know, obviously even if it doesn't bleed, you are opening up that wound and creating an opening in the skin. So now, since your pimple is a wound, you do have increased risk of scarring and also spread of infection. And even with a scab itself, you know, picking at it to try to get rid of it faster can just lead to more scarring in the end that will last even longer than just letting it heal on its own. This can overall compromise the skin's integrity and it will aggravate the acne to further infection. And as I already mentioned, this will make your skin more susceptible to scarring and pigmentation. Now overall, why can that spread infection cause scarring, all of that? So when you are, let's say you have a big white head, big cyst, and those are usually the ones we wanna pop because oftentimes they hurt and we're like, if we pop it, you know, it'll all be good. What you might be doing is not only are you digging your nails and your fingernails into that pimple, which FYI, your fingers and especially under your fingernails is very dirty. Please do not be pressing this into your skin. Um, so not only are you doing that, you might be extracting that top layer of the pus within the pimple, but if it is a deeper cyst, the sac still remains deep within the skin and you are not getting all of it out. Therefore, this infection could spread, causing neighboring pimples, as well as causing the pimple to have a lot longer of a healing process, cause that scarring, and overall, you're really creating like this ripple effect by doing so. So, what if you're like, okay, Lavinia, I get all that, but I just can't stop picking at my skin. I'm here to tell you some things that you can do and try to implement into your routine to see if this can stop you from picking at your skin. The first thing I recommend is keeping your skin moisturized. This is super important. So if you're like me, if you have super dry skin, sometimes if your skin is super flaky, this can cause you to pick at your skin more. I know when I get acne and it starts to heal down, around that pimple will get super dry and flaky. And it's very, very tempting to peel that skin away. But you know, I kind of have to let my skin heal on its own. So if you use skincare and different ingredients to reduce the flakiness of your skin, you're less likely to pick at it. What I recommend is finding a really rich moisturizer, especially something with ceramides in it that can help with your moisture barrier. Shea butter is great too. Various humectants such as glycerin and hyaluronic acid to make sure hydration is being drawn into the skin are also great. So overall, this is something I do on a regular basis to make sure my moisture barrier is intact and that my skin is hydrated properly. Next tip is to keep your nails short. Obviously, if your nails are much shorter, it is a lot harder to really pick at your skin and really get in there to pop a pimple. Since using them by digging into your skin will only spread infection and cause scarring from the squeezing, turning your small pimple into a way bigger mess. Now this may not be something that can work for everyone because for me I like to 
could keep my nails long so for me i just have to resist that urge a bit more but that definitely can be a solution that you can use at least for a while till you break the habit next are hydrocolide patches for acne and spots this is definitely my favorite solution of them all i use these all the time and i have tons of favorites these are especially great for those big cysts um since those may need a bit more healing time and a lot of the times that a big whitehead can form that can be really really tempting to just pop so if you use a patch to cover that not only will it protect it from the environment and free radicals and pollution but it will also protect it from your fingers this will really allow the patch to do the work for you as it will soak that gunk for you overnight you might have to use um, a patch like this a few consecutive nights to really see results but overall it just creates a protective layer and it's able to extract that gunk without you picking at your skin next tip i have is avoiding situations or places that you feel an urge to pick at your skin so first of all if you have one of those close-up mirrors in your bathroom get rid of it it is so easy to look at your skin 10 times magnified in this mirror and see all the blackheads sebaceous filaments pores pimples everything like that super up close and of course seeing all that you're like i need to get this all out of my skin and next thing you know you spend an hour in your bathroom mirror popping and picking at your skin and now you look like you just did a vampire facial <laughs> So what I recommend is try switching to a regular mirror instead and doing your skincare in that. You know, focus on the bigger picture, you know, pores, blackheads, sebaceous filaments, pimples are normal. So you don't need to be looking that close up at your skin. Since, first of all, no one is looking at your skin that up close except you. And if they are, they're definitely in your personal bubble. I'm kidding. But really, there's no need to really look at your skin that close up because it will just tempt you to pick at your skin. Next tip is have someone remind you whenever you start picking at your skin to not do so. I always have to do this with my boyfriend. He does have a more black head prone nose and I always see him go to squeeze at it and I always have to stop him. So this can actually be really helpful until that habit is broken at least, which usually takes about a month to break a habit. If you don't have someone around to remind you, maybe try placing a sticky note on your bathroom mirror and write, do not pick on your skin or wherever you do your skincare as that kind of daily reminder. Or when you step up to the mirror, you know, just kind of remind yourself of that constantly that you would really just be making the issue a lot worse than it is. I do want to give my own story to this to really put emphasis on the, you are making the situation much worse. A couple of years ago, I had a blackhead in this cheek area, which I don't usually get, um, you Know, filled pores in this area so I was like I need to get this thing out because what was I doing looking in a close-up mirror see the issue um, and I went to you know first of all I started with my fingers to not press my nails in because I was trying to you know not create that much damage but I already started off with the wrong mindset by trying to get this thing out so I was pressing pressing wasn't working I moved on to my nails wasn't working wasn't coming out I moved on to a metal extractor you see how we're progressing to worse overall this thing was not coming out and in the end i literally kind of created almost a hole in my face i created a huge area of infection around that blackhead it turned into a massive cyst that i still to this day have the scar from so please take it from me and from everything i have learned please do not pick at your skin it can really really make a small tiny situation that i probably wouldn't even have thought about that blackhead the next day into something where i still have to deal with that scar to this day and my last tip try to use skincare ingredients that work for the specific issue for blackheads and whiteheads i love ingredients such as salicylic acid or other types of bhas which will go deep into the skin and really clean out that pore and exfoliate so that's why it's really great for blackheads and whiteheads i also really like benzoyl peroxide oxide, AHAs, willow bark, tea tree. So there's lots of great ingredients for acne that will probably fix the issue a lot better than you picking at your skin. And that is all for my tips in this video, guys. If you have any questions at all, make sure to comment them down below. And I hope you found this video helpful as well as enjoyed it. If you do want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the acne channel. We post tons of skincare tips and also make sure to turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a future upload. If you want to see more of me you can find me at Lavinia Rosanda on YouTube TikTok as well as Instagram I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one bye